Hey everyone, I'm Steph, AKA The Secret Slob. Today I'm gonna share with you my all day fly lady routines, how I get things done, stay organized, and stay on track during self-isolation when I have three little kids at home, including a baby, he's three months old, and yeah, we are super busy. So I just had my shower. I haven't done my hair and makeup yet. I'm gonna go downstairs, eat breakfast, make sure my kids eat breakfast, and then we'll kind of get the day started. I gotta get something in my stomach first. I can't do anything without food. So first thing in the morning, my husband brings the kids in to cuddle with me, or sometimes I get up and do my workout. Either way, he takes care of them until it's time for him to go to work, and then it's all me. So I'm just giving them their vitamins, getting my breakfast ready, and getting their breakfast on the table until it's nap time for our little baby there. Are you tired? Yeah, happy boy. Yeah, so once our baby is down for his first nap, I sit down to have breakfast with my girls. They've kind of gotten started, so I sit down, have my breakfast, and I finish up my to-do list for today. I like to write everything down because it really helps me stay on track and feel like I have something to focus on. I use the Fly Lady Systems morning and evening routines as a base for my whole day's schedule. So the first thing on the list is to empty the dishwasher and then I clean up breakfast at the same time. So I quickly empty the dishwasher and now I'm just cleaning up after breakfast, getting all the dishes put away, wiping down counters. My kids are having a little dance party which I joined in. But just generally we're singing and talking and I'm able to get something done and they're staying out of trouble and occupied. So if you have not heard of the Fly Lady system, I will link to it above. I started this system about two years ago. I was a complete hot mess. I was totally overwhelmed, could not feel like I could get anything done. And I brought these routines into my life and it changed everything. So I highly encourage that you check it out or check out some of my earlier videos where I was really struggling as a stay at home mom. I've come so far and I'm so proud of myself. Okay, let's go get some stuff done. My routines do not always get done in the exact order they're prescribed. I have little kids. I'm often playing with them or I'm being asked to help them or getting them a snack. You know, we're always getting them a snack. But I just fit in these little tasks wherever I can. So I just get them done as best I can, as fast as I can, and I keep it simple for myself. That's why I don't have a very fancy bed. I don't have throw pillows. It takes me a minute to make it and it's all done. Even though we're in self-isolation, I like to put on a little bit of makeup and do my hair. It just helps me feel better every single day. Since I'm in the bathroom anyways, I'm gonna do my swish and swipe of one bathroom. In the Fly Lady system, she says to do them all, but I have four bathrooms in my house, so I just do one every day, and I find that keeps them looking good enough. And as she says, good enough is good enough. Okay, so that's it for my morning routine, and now I just relax, play with my kids, we go outside, and maybe I find time for the zone, or I do car and purse, but sometimes that happens in the afternoon. Just depends on what they're doing. I ordered my plants early this year. There seems to be a run on gardening, I think, because everybody's stuck at home. So I grab my plants early, but it still freezes at night. So every day I bring them out into the sun, and then in the night I bring them back into the garage. It's a little bit of work, but I cannot wait to get gardening. So we're just doing a little second breakfast here, and my kids are just playing. And then we'll get dressed and hopefully try to get outside. My baby boy is three months old, as I said, and he is growing like a weed. I put this outfit on him and it doesn't fit, even though it's his size, so I had to go get different clothes for him upstairs. Getting these kids ready is probably the hardest thing I do every single morning. No, my youngest daughter needs help getting dressed. My oldest daughter is getting dressed now by herself, and 
I just heard the laundry finish, so I'm gonna quickly switch it over. So that is done and waiting for me to fold this afternoon. And I just finished my breakfast. <laughs> we just kind of do everything on the go. You ready? Yep. You dressed? Okay, so I have my coffee, my baby. My kids are running. Things are good. If I get outside every day, and if I get a coffee, things are good. I just ran into a girl that said she saw a moose on the trail. And so now I'm like, great. We just packed everybody up and now it's like, I gotta burn some of my kids' energy off. So we'll see. This is when I need a dog. Every weekday has a different focus. Today's focus is car and purse day. So I just get into my car and purse and quickly grab any garbage, things that don't belong there, and empty them out, put them away. My purse is empty because I don't go anywhere, but I did have some things in my car. Home again, nursing again. Spend a lot of time on this couch and my kids just kind of do whatever. <laughs> so that's what messes are made. Are you gonna do Halloween? Ooh, I can't wait. Lunch time for us. This is the easiest lunch you can make for your kids. I call it the bistro platter thanks to my friend Beth and it's basically just a mix of vegetables, cheese, bread, meat, whatever you have in your fridge and they love it. Kids love finger foods. So after lunch I'm going to do a really quick clean up. I try to stay on top of the dishes all day instead of letting them pile up into a big mountain because as soon as I let them pile up I do not want to get them done at all and I lose all motivation. So if it's just a little bit of dishes, I try to get them done right away. I'm hiding. I don't know why. I'm just like scrolling on my phone in the corner, but I think they're okay. They're planning a party. Do you want to see the party? It's pretty good. Oh my goodness. Look at this party. All right, my kids are in bed, all three of them, and that's magical. So I just sat on the couch for like 20 minutes and did nothing productive at all, and that felt pretty good. So now I'm going to power tidy the house. I've mentioned it before, I do not follow my kids around picking up after them. I just kind of let the day happen, try to get them to pick up a little bit after themselves, but I just do one huge pickup. So it's often right now at nap time because nobody's making a mess. So this is my power tidy. Depending on how our day has gone or how much time we've spent inside or how many parties we've had, it takes me a varying amount of time. Today it took me about 20 minutes and I just went through room by room, getting things done, trying to pull things out as methodically as possible so that I could move them into the rooms they belonged in and not have to backtrack as much as possible. I used to be really bad at tidying, but now I'm very careful to just move to another room when I'm ready and finished in the one I'm in. So that only took me about 20 minutes to get this all done and now it is me time. I'm either gonna have a nap or read a book or just sit on the couch and do nothing at all. Okay, I'm done my relax time. And the baby's probably gonna get up soon here. So 
just flavoring my water here. Um, the baby's gonna get up soon, so I'm gonna try and do my laundry because, yeah. I absolutely love this new no fold method of sorting laundry that I've discovered. I basically don't fold my kids laundry anymore or any other laundry that doesn't require staying wrinkle free. So I hang my shirts up, but I just sort my kids clothes out. I sort out my pajamas, um, undergarments, undershirts, just things that don't get wrinkly and it's saving me so much time. Hello, hi, did you have a big sleep? Did you have a big sleep? Are you hungry? <laughs> Nursing again. I spend a lot of time doing this. One really huge trick I've learned from the Fly Lady system is what's for dinner. Getting your dinner prepped earlier in the day so that when dinner time comes, you can just put on the finishing touches and lay it on the table. And because I have time, people are sleeping, my baby's up, he's helping me, I'm just gonna get this done. I only recently became an adult and started roasting chickens. This is probably the fifth time I've done it, but I have a recipe that has turned out every single time and I had no confidence about doing this but it turns out every time. So I'm gonna link to that recipe below. It's super simple and like I say, turns out every time with the most perfect chicken ever. So I'm just gonna get my chicken stuffed, prepped and put into the oven and I think I'll probably get some potatoes prepped up for dinner as well. You just wake up? Yeah. You guys want a snack? I wake up. I've got a new dress. Beautiful. Do you guys want a snack? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So my girls are super out of it after their nap, so I'm just going to put on a show for them and I'm going to go get my zone clean done. I couldn't do this earlier because the girls were napping in here, but this week we're in zone three, which is bedrooms. And so I'm gonna work through their bedroom for 15 minutes. I have my detailed cleaning list, which I'll link to below. And basically I just work through it for 15 minutes in the zone that we're in that week. And once I'm done the 15 minutes, I am done. I try not to go overboard. I try not to go longer than that. And I find if I do that 15 minutes every single day, I can stay on top of my house, not feel overwhelmed, and not ever feel like I have to do an all day marathon power clean. I don't like doing that and so I try to avoid that at all costs. I recently instituted a toy rotation system in my kids' room, which has really helped me get control of the amount of toys we have. The other thing it helps with is just the amount of time it takes to tidy up. It doesn't take me long, and I don't even have to pre-tidy the room before I start cleaning. I just fit it right into those 15 minutes of zone cleaning, and then when I'm done, I'm done. All right, so the baby's in bed, and I just finished putting away laundry, and now this is beeping at me, so let's have a look. What? I know. I made that. It's amazing! So now I'm going to finish up dinner. My youngest daughter's helping me wash. I like to get my kids involved in chores and helping with cooking as much as I can and I really try to just be positive about it. I found that I always thought chores were a chore and a horrible thing so I really try to convey a sense of positivity because they have to get done so we may as well not begrudge these things that are part of our daily lives. So that's the message I'm sending to my kids. I'm hoping it'll work. We'll see. It's maybe too early to tell but so far they love helping.
Right before dinner, I found I had two extra minutes, so I wanted to quickly get my hot spot done. This is just a spot in your house where stuff accumulates, and for us, that's our little command center at the door. It's full every day, and I have to empty it every day. Oh, and if you saw my Instagram, you know about this dog. We still have it. It's still scaring me. Dinner is on, so I'm gonna finish up this last thing, which is asparagus. Another really easy, super fast recipe I'll share below. I love preparing asparagus this way. It turns out amazing, so yummy, but I have to do it right before dinner so they don't get wilty and they're still nice and bright green. As soon as the weather is nice, we love to get outside for a walk every single night. My husband was a little bit late tonight coming home, so we're just doing our walk first, then we'll go home and clean up afterwards. We are back from our walk now, so I'm just finishing up the dishes. My husband helps me, I just don't film him because he's very shy. And I'm gonna shine up the sink at the end of the night. This is the last thing I do, and once I'm done this, it signals to me it is couch time, it's rest time, I'm all finished. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for my all day fly lady routines. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe for more content from me. I will see you very soon. So that's it, it's the end of the night and I'm just giving my baby one last feed before his bedtime. I didn't get my workout done, but everything else on the list was checked off and I slept in. So usually I do my workout in the morning, but I slept in. That was good. We had a great day. I'm so glad you guys were able to watch and see how I do the fly lady routine with three kids. And it kind of felt like having company for a day when, you know, I really haven't had anybody come visit for over a month now. So I hope you had a great day too. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.